Hi everyone, hope you are enjoying learning about all those things you need to do to keep your teeth healthy. So far, you've learned about the structure of teeth, how to brush and floss correctly, and that you need to visit a dentist one to two times per year. But another really important part of taking care of your teeth is understanding that what you eat can also play a big role. This is so important that we're going to throw to our dental team to tell us more. Thanks team. Thanks dentist Danny and dentist Sona. Hi everyone, I'm Lorica. And I'm Tanisha from the Royal Flying Doctor Service Dental Team. Congratulations, you've learnt what your teeth are made of and how you can eat best to keep them clean. You also learned that you only get two sets of teeth in your lifetime, your baby teeth and your adult teeth. Once you start losing your adult teeth, they don't grow back. So it's really important you do everything you can to keep them healthy. As you know, brushing and flossing daily and seeing your dentist every year play a big part in keeping your teeth strong. What is also massively important is what you eat. You know that sugary foods need to be avoided, but sometimes it can get confusing trying to identify what foods are loaded with sugar and what foods aren't. That's why knowing and understanding the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating is so important. The Australian Guide to Healthy Eating is a food selection guide which represents the five food groups recommended for consumption each day. These foods are recognised as those that keep your whole body, including your teeth, healthy. The five food groups that are recommended are grain food, mostly whole grain and high cereal fibre varieties, lean meats and poultry, fish, eggs, tofu, nuts and seeds, vegetables and beans, milk, yogurt, cheese, and reduced fat alternatives, and water. According to the guide, sugary and fatty foods should be avoided or only consumed sometimes and in small amounts. As you can see, if you know what foods are recommended in the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating, you will have a clearer understanding of what foods you should avoid and what foods you should keep on eating. Now to test your knowledge. Work by yourself or in teams to complete the following. The Australian Guide to Healthy Eating Activity. Good luck and remember, if you don't want tooth decay, give sugary foods a miss. Thanks, Laurie and Tanisha. Great advice as always. Now for the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating Challenge. Soon you will be given a list of nutritious and not so nutritious food items. Your job is to decide which food groups they belong to in the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating. All you need to do is drag and drop your answers. Remember, on the list, there'll be some food items that don't belong to the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating, so be careful. To help you prepare for the challenge, download the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating information sheet and answer the questions that follow. When you are ready, you can start the challenge. Good luck.